This video is going to show you how to download and install OneDrive for Business. OneDrive for Business adds a local folder with your documents that you have stored up into OneDrive. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up Internet Explorer. I find that the install works a little better with this. And we're going to go to Outlook.com slash EMS hyphen ISD dot net. The same place that you should go to check your email online. So enter your Office 365 credentials, which is the same as you check your email with. Click Sign In. And at the top right hand side of your Outlook web app, there is a tab that says OneDrive. Go ahead and click on it. And here where your documents are stored. If you want to sync them with on your computer, click the sync button up the top right. And before we can sync, we're going to need to download the app. So click that link at the bottom. And we're going to pick the top one, the desktop sync for Windows 7 and 8. Scroll down to the, it's about the middle towards the bottom, and click on the English version, the one that says x86. It should be the top one. And go ahead and click Run. Go ahead and click Next here. You can use the recommended settings if you want. I typically click no thanks and click accept. And click next. You can choose the background for Office 2013. I go ahead and click next and you can click no thanks right there. This process usually takes about five or ten minutes. Um, I edited it to make it go much faster. And then go ahead and click all done. So now we've downloaded the OneDrive for Business app. Now what we need to do is sync it with our files that we have online. So Microsoft is going to, the website is going to try to open up that program. That's why you saw that little message. So click the sync button again. And then now we're going to click sync now. The website wants to open up OneDrive. So go ahead and click allow. And now it's going to make you log into your OneDrive for Business app. It's the same credentials. It's your same 365 credentials. So go ahead and type those in. Click Next. Now I think there's a bug in this because clicking the Next button doesn't work, so you'll just have to hit the Enter key. Um, it's an organizational account, so click that one. And enter your 365 password. Go ahead and click Sign In. And what that's going to do, that's going to give the correct address to sync your files with OneDrive. So there's the OneDrive app, it's running in the system tray but I do not have the OneDrive folder yet because it's not synced. So click on the OneDrive app. There's the address to my SharePoint where the OneDrive is located. So click the Sync Now button. This part takes about five or ten minutes depending on how many files that you have. You'll notice that now that I have the OneDrive folder that's in my computer, but you don't have to see any files or folders up. So here in a couple minutes, you'll start seeing the files and the folders that I've already uploaded to my OneDrive. Um, if they're synced and they're updated, you'll see little green check marks. If they're in the process of syncing, you'll see those two little arrows that look like circles. So since I've just begun syncing, that's all what you see. There are all the files that I already have in my OneDrive on the website, but sometimes it's much easier to go ahead and save and access them on my computer. If you see the little green scroll bar on the OneDrive app in your um, system tray, again, that just means that it is syncing all of your files up. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.